Hello, I'm Dr. Richard W. Fleming of the Beverly Hills Institute of Aesthetic and Reconstructive Surgery on Bedford Drive in Beverly Hills, California. This is one of a series of podcasts that we have recorded discussing various cosmetic treatments in the facial region. Today we're going to talk about male rhinoplasty. We have previously talked about this operation in women, but it's also very, very common in men. The basic principles of good nasal surgery that we discussed in our previous podcast do apply to men also. We want a stronger nose in a man, certainly, but we want a nose that is proportional to the rest of his facial features and does look natural. Patients come into our office and they will use celebrities or other people that we all know to describe what in fact they'd like to achieve in terms of what they feel is a good looking male nose. And it's not any surprise to anybody that in fact Jude Law frequently comes up. The nose is proportional to his face, he has a long narrow face, his, his nose reflects that proportion, his nose is refined. He does have thinner skin than most men, which is also consistent with his uh, basic handsomeness. This man here, he had a relatively large hump, but as you can see, he, like Jude Law, has a thinner face, and the nose was reduced more than in a man who was thicker and rounder and heavier, but it is in proportion. I'll take a moment here to briefly discuss how do you select a nasal surgeon, a rhinoplasty surgeon. We obviously all want board certified surgeons, but when we're talking about rhinoplasty procedures, seek a board certified surgeon who also specializes in rhinoplasty, where a large part of his or her practice is rhinoplasty surgery. It is an extremely challenging operation. Unfortunately, two-thirds of the noses that we do are people that are referred here after their original rhinoplasty and have had unfortunate results. Many times it's minimal changes, but sometimes some major surgery needs to be done. Select your surgeon carefully. Look at his or her results. Look at many of his or her results and see if this surgeon has the same aesthetic taste that you do. It's another man who's bigger, uh, he's fuller, he's heavier, and his nose was partially reduction, partial addition to his tip, but all parts of the nose are proportional and it is in harmony with the rest of his surrounding face. Minimal hump, too long a nose, length is important, whether it be man or woman, you do not want this nose on a young uh, lady that's four foot ten. This man is well over six feet and the length of his nose matches his entire physical presence. We frequently combine rhinoplasty with other procedures. This man wanted his nose done but he also had low brows which we'll see in a subsequent picture. So we did the brow lift and the rhinoplasty at the same sitting. Here's a straight on view of that same gentleman and the brow lift which we have talked about in other podcasts uh, definitely improved the appearance of his eyes without actually doing any surgery on the eyelids. We see many men who have their rhinoplasty done with aging face surgery. This is an older gentleman we did a facelift and chin implant on him and we did all of this at the same time. We see older people having their rhinoplasties done because in their youth, that was the days of the overdone nose. Results were not as refined as they are today. So we see people that were doing the rejuvenation surgery where we're turning back the time clock, uh, taking away the physical signs of aging, are taking advantage of that rejuvenation surgery and doing their rhinoplasty at the same time because the patients are very educated and they understand that the results today are far better. For most men, it's cosmetic work, but also many times we see men because of their physical activities where we're doing reconstructive work, we're fixing broken noses, we're reconstructing patients after they've broken their noses or had facial trauma. This young man lost part of his nose as part of an accident. 
Uh, we use an open rhinoplasty on this gentleman, which gives us a distinct advantage in reconstructive work like this. We took cartilage from his ears and built up his nose to give him a more uh, masculine, strong nose. I refer you to our website, which is www.bevhills.com, for a more complete discussion about rhinoplasty. You make me feel so young You make me feel so spring has sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual The moment that you speak